Welcome back to another Alliance War video. We have four Loki versus the King Slayers. This is War 1 of a new season. They banned Void, Bishop, and Wiccan. This tactic is actually worse than the last one. Um, so it's a new tactic. Nobody plays bosses. Um, well, we did place bosses. Um, but anybody we face in the uh, offseason didn't place any bosses. So we couldn't really practice the global. Um, and... Uh, there was, I think, one or two wars where there was a boss, but there were barely any defenders, uh, tactic defenders. And uh, I got a few fights. It, I tried the first time I, I saw the tactic, I got to actually test it. I tried using non-tactic attackers to see if I could muscle through with some like hard counters for the defenders. And that was a no-go. So uh, the, the only other time I got to see them, I tried a tactic uh, attacker and it, it kind of worked. Uh, they tuned down the tactic a bit, made it made it easier to um, to stack some global prowess, um, but uh, ultimately it uh, it's still kind of crap. And I am bringing Omega Sentinel, Professor X, and White Magneto. Professor X is going to be doing the bulk of the heavy lifting. He is a tactic attacker, um, and I'll be going down path five uh, in both sections, taking um, some of these. I think I have an eight fight war. Eight, eight, yeah, eight fight war. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll get to it. But basically, the way this ta this global works is they gain an indestructible. We're in tier one, so this is the way tier one works. They gain an indestructible passive charge every five seconds, and you can remove. Um, if you don't use a tactic attacker, you can remove a indestructible charge by a parry, a well timed block. Um, if you're ta if you use a tactic attacker, you also gain a pa a global pr passive prowess. And you can stack those with each parry or stack them by hitting their block with a light attack. And that way, every time they were to gain an indestructible passive, an indestructible effect, I should say, uh, the, the, you lose one global pa uh, prowess and it, it, uh, they, it removes one indestructible charge that they have. So you basically want to make sure that you are keeping those um, charges up, the, the global prowess, to make sure that... Um, they aren't going indestructible and you're not doing any damage because that's the danger and you gain you also give them uh, an indestructible charge every time you dex and if you don't have any passive prowess effects from the global every time you take a blocked hit you power gain them so their power can get out of hand you can get cornered real quick and you're not doing any damage and it just kind of snowballs so you want to make sure that you're controlling the spacing on the map for this first fight, I have APOC on this debuff immune uh, knockdown node. I'm using per, um, I'm using Omega Sentinel here, and I actually um, I debated not using a White Magneto pre-fight, um, mainly because uh, I'm there. I miss a parry, uh, mainly because I could just take some blocked hits and then for openings and then hit him. I'm, I'm going to be throwing my special three for damage. Um, new season, uh, first war. So the nerves are definitely out, and uh, we'll see that in some of these fights for sure. So uh, here I just want to, you know, knock him down. I prefer pushing him to an SB2, um, mainly because uh, it just dumps all of his power instead of baiting multiple SB1s. I did kind of debate using um, OG Iron Man here uh, just because he's super tanky, but I won't get any armor uh, armor breaks with the, uh, with the node. Um, so... Just using Omega Sentinel here and um, and just going to chip him down. Uh, you know, the first, you know, it's about a minute gone. This is a beefy APOC and he's halfway down. Um, he throws his special. I'm just going to take it on the block. With all her armor up, she's actually really tanky as well. So it's uh, super safe. I debated on running, um, uh, you know, full suicides here um, or at least just the bleed. But I didn't want Apoc to throw his special and then uh, and then hit me with a weakness or a degen or concussion if I have a damaging effect active. So I, I'm just running um, max recoil here just for the damage. And there I use my relic for an opening, um, and I throw my special three. I probably should have just heavied for the uh, for the opening, just that way I can have my relic available to me um, after this. But this fight is kind of taking a, a bit longer uh, at this point, and I'm like, okay, um, I am using a um, a tech boost just to get more power after my special three, just so I can get back to my special three. 
And here I'm like, uh, we're going to do this dance. We're going to do this dance where he's not throwing his special, but he throws it. And at this point, I'm like, okay, perfect. I just need to knock him down. And any special will basically kill him. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't do a heavy there. Um, oh, I think I just wanted to uh, hit him with a Crowdis and then bait that special. Just so it could kind of mitigate some of the damage. Here, uh, I knock him down. And I'm going to uh, throw this combo with then my Relic, my special 3, and killed him. So... Uh, that fight is over with. It wasn't hard or scary, but, you know, you got to be careful. For Kate, I debated to not use a Wags here as well, because with Professor X, once I get my Vigilance, I bypass her Evade, um, and I can still parry Heavy her. But um, we had I had it on the, on the map, and I wasn't going to use it elsewhere, so I threw it on here. Um, the uh, the plan basically here is to uh, to... Parry heavy, I build a prowess there. Um, you see the, the uh, passive prowess effect on me. And I parry again, and uh, you see one got removed because of the timer. So I actually also pause the timer every time I hit her when I have a passive prowess effect. Um, there I didn't want to dex it because I didn't want to remove a prowess effect. So at this point, you know, she's actually goes heavy and uh, unstoppable with her heavy, so I don't want her to throw that. Um, I'm fully ramped here. Uh, I just throw my special three. I have class boost on um, at this point, so I'm just gonna spam this, and uh, and she's gonna die. So super straightforward. Uh, the danger with the global um, is when you get cornered and you're dexing a lot and you feed too many charges, especially from champions that have like multi dex specials that they throw. So like for um, Nova, when you dex a special one, you, it's one. The first hit is one swipe but it counts as three dexes, that'll feed them three charges. So it can really stack up against you. So that was Kate. The uh, next fight I have is on path five and it's um, it's Kindred. And this is on Sadist and Ebb and Flow Intercept. So Kindred will actually, you know, you'll feed him charges every time you make contact hits with them. And once he goes into the nightmare, um, the nightmare outbreak starts, obviously if you're close to him, he degens you and per his SIG, if he gets down to a certain percentage, he will root you and you're stuck close to him unless you throw a special. Uh, so here I'm using a power start one because I want to get to my special three as soon as possible. Um, and that's because I want to be able to um, end this fight before his night my nightmare, you know, uh, basically starts. And I don't want him to throw heavy because he's ghost on you, but if he does, then I can just heavy counter him here. So now he's at a special two. This is exactly what I wanted. His charges are low. I want him to throw this um, so I can actually pause it. We were for the last hit and I back off. I wanted to get an intercept there, but I didn't. And so now I'm like, okay. So now he throws this. I'm gonna use my, uh, my falter for the uh, intercept. And uh, now we're off and running. So at this point, because I have Omega Sentinel, I am at three persistent charges. This fight will give me my, my fourth and last one. She has a synergy with Professor X that I gain an extra persistent charge per uh, per fight. That's why I'm at three. But the first uh, the first special three gets him down to 35%. The next special three will get him down to 1%. I will be rooted, as you can see right here. And uh, at this point, I throw the last special three to essentially kill him. So super straightforward and easy fight. Um, I say that as I have to fight another Kindred today on um, on the Heavy Unstoppable node, which is actually more difficult for him, for Professor X, that is. So um, that one went down uh, fine. Now this next fight, I haven't rewatched this completely, but I royally messed this up. I, I'm, I must have dueled all my fights um, a bunch except for this one. I do this like once or twice and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna parry heavy with a white Magneto pre-fight and uh, throw my special three. And uh, yeah, if I have to throw, I'm, I'm max ramped, max recoil, everything is max. So if I have to get him down with protection, I know I can, I'm not worried about it. And uh, you'll see how this goes. So at first, okay, I get the uh, the first heavy and I have the, uh, I have two global, uh, 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 prowess at this point. And I'm like, okay. Um, I don't want to try to dex too much from his specials because um, uh, then I'm going to feed his uh, 
it, the global. And right there, I forgot about his unstoppable. So my falter actually saved me. And I'm like, oh, 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 like, okay, okay, reset, reset, reset. So my, oh my God, a parry a few times to build a, to build prowess. I know, I know this. And then I miss a parry here and he hits me and I'm like, oh no, he's building this confidence and he's got super confidence now. And I, I block that and I'm like, um, uh, I do the same thing again. I, I, I throw that heavy into his unstoppable and I'm cornered. So I just throw this at this point. And I'm like, you know what? Just throw this and uh, and hopefully um, I can get through. And I'm at 35%, uh, but he's unstoppable. So what ends up happening is um, he dashes at me, or I, I throw this special too. I didn't actually get to three bars and, I, and that pushes me up, but I take some damage back. And I think that's because of his ability. I'm not too sure because he was super confident and he had his unstoppable up, but I throw this and I'm like, I need to get to another special three. Oh my, thank God I do. And, uh, and at this point I'm like, okay, uh, he's gonna go down. Like he's gonna go down. I'm gonna have at least two more special threes uh, in me before my mind control runs out. And then I'll have another special three, um, if not a special two. So that was super sketch. I should have, I should have definitely taken uh, Mediator a lot more seriously, but uh, you know, some, some some more fights go like this, you know. Uh, so I'm just glad to escape alive. But I have to use a bunch of potions to heal this uh, this Professor X now, obviously. So that hurt. That that definitely hurt. Um, you see there, I'm, uh, I'm using a bunch, and uh, I think it's still bugged to where I could use less. Um, to to heal him completely because I didn't max heal him, but then it healed all the way. Now I'm taking this uh, Maestro on this. Um, and the other thing about that fight going longer than it should have is I lost my power start one, which I wanted to parlay into this uh, this fight. So I'm using a lot more gray boost than I wanted. Um, but basically here, I'm just going to push him to special two and, uh, and throw my special three and... He's got a beefy health pool though. It's like almost 500k here. And uh, the plan basically, it's got bubble shield. So I wanna make sure that I am at 100 charges. I wanna watch that bubble shield. And if I have to dex the um, the special one, then I definitely wanna dex it. And I don't wanna get rooted uh, because of uh, the, the node where if I don't hit him uh, after a certain amount of time. So here, everything's going smoothly because because of um, because of Power Focus 2, I'm actually able to keep parrying him here. And I, I I make a mistake there. I should have thrown my Relic to Heavy Charge into that. And he throws a Special 2 and I take a bunch, a bunch of damage. So I have to heal again. Now this fight is over. So that's fine. But it, I was at 100%. And now I'm not. So it, it's just one of those things to where you're like rushing the fight uh, i literally could have just held the block he would have came at me i could have intercepted with my relic and heavy charge and uh yeah then this this fight would have i wouldn't have had to you know burn uh health potions for this but ultimately maestro is uh is down here uh, again he's real beefy and i'm only hitting i think the first sp3 hit for 130k um and this one will kill um but but yeah, I think the, the biggest one was 158,000 uh, right there. So I was like, okay. Oh, and I'm, I'm only using, was I using 150? No, 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 I was using 200 boost, 200 uh, boost for that. I think we'll see right here. Um, yeah, a 200% a uh, boost right here. I think for the first ones, actually, I was using 150 because I had to wait for a read pre-fight here. Um, and I did that because I know the Petrify won't work versus Adam because I'm not a mystic. But the the combat power one may may work. So the thought process here is basically to parry heavy, build my indestructible, build my global prowess so I can remove his indestructible and push him to an SB3. That's ideally the situation I want because um, I, I don't want to dex too much and feed him indestructible passives, especially with aspects. He's going to be gaining power really really fast so here i'm at 75 and i get another parry and i'm like all right perfect here i'm like i don't want him to throw this so i go for intercept and i manually trigger mind control at 87 um uh charges and i'm, I'm spamming now i have max recoil on here 
So I'm spamming my, my SB2, uh, hoping I build enough prowess to basically um, end the fight. And here, this last one will push me to red, and I throw it, uh, but I lose more health <laughs> because of max recoil. But uh, ultimately, I just didn't want him to throw his special um, at me, and I was hoping to actually push him red, uh, but um, but I didn't. Uh, well, I triggered my control at the end, so I probably could have just tanked that SB3 and been fine. Um, but because I had I had an equity on and I had SB3 boost, so I, I knew I would have uh, you know I could have taken that. But I thought I could have probably got to my SB3 sooner to take less recoil damage, but. Now we have dust, and uh, I, I don't have I don't own a dust, a four star, three star, any star dust, so I couldn't duel her. I just looked at some videos off of what uh, Andy sent me, and um, and I think uh, oh, I think Moe sent me a, a video as well. So shout out to them. And the base basically here, I'm just gonna parry heavy at the start, and then parry medium, um, parry medium light. And at this point, I realized I can't parry her lights. Andy did tell me about that and I forgot. So I'm backing off uh, kind of like a uh, domino just to create space. And uh, really I'm just using a medium and a heavy so I don't trigger the prowess puncture because this would probably hurt a bunch um, through, the, uh, through the block. So now I'm using my heavy charge to ramp up to 100 and I get it and I throw my special three and uh, that's that's all she, uh, she wrote uh, for this. So. Uh, that was my war. Um, the tactic is definitely different. I am going to be using Professor X quite a bit. Um, I'm actually taking an Onslaught boss in the next war uh, with Professor X. Uh, so it's my first time in season taking an Onslaught boss. So uh, look out for that video. But we... We used a lot of items across the alliance, and there's a lot of deaths racking up even in other alliances. Uh, nobody is a fan of this this global. Things can just spiral, and some some defender and node matchups are just horrible, just really, really horrible. And it's it's hard to really kind of play around everything. But we did get the win in this war, so we started out the season with a win. Um, you see, we died 24 times. So we will see you guys in the next one.